If you don't stand out, you're out. Chengtu will use the hard power of research and development to jump out of the whirlpool. Let me introduce it to you today, our punching production line. Today we introduce this punching line. We still start from the hydraulic uncoiler. You can see that from here. Here's our uncoiler. There's one big difference with an ordinary uncoiler. And on our end we have a flip for the first one. The punching line we made with this equipment. It is possible to produce aluminum sheet color steel galvanized sheet. There are a lot of clients at this time. It is made of vertical packaging. What about after you get here? We usually need an independent ripper. Turn it over and put it on. What about this device? It has its own flip function. After flipping, our piece can be seen from this side. We got a flip machine here. It's a perfect fit with this feeding trolley. And when it's done it happens to be a matching width. After the steel is rolled up, the feeding cart can move it. The loading trolley drags the steel coil to enter the loading mode. After loading we have a press arm to prevent the material from fluffing. And on this side we have a drive. You can see over there. Let's press the arms up and down. There are also separate control buttons for these actions. You can also see that I have the remote control in my hand. Chinese and English are very convenient and practical here. And easy to use. Let's come here. Many of you should know that. What we have here is a leveling machine. It's actually a feeder. But what about this feeder? Can be measured by the flatness of this material. You can see that. The leveling function of our feeder is very, very good. Here it is. The one we used is a manual wrench. This purpose. This pattern. What is this pattern for? We all know that. After the roll. The first time this material came in, he should be here. All we need to do is lift this shaft. Lift up. What if you screw it up one bolt at a time? It takes a lot of work. That's the way we're gonna do it. Just bring this material over easily. When you get here, just press down. Come here. See here, we just have a big reservoir. You like you like this material. In the middle of this punching process. It gets hot. What about the heat? It's gonna be a lot of heat, after a certain amount of heat. It will form, it's going to make this mold this rigid. The hardness of it is reduced. So we're trying to reduce the heat during this punching process. There's a pool in here. Droop the material into the pool. Into our mold. You can see that you've got the emulsion here. In the process of punching. Let it heat in time. At this time, the mold will be protected for it. Well, on this side of it you can see here. I brought out one in particular. I think we put it on the side of the press. This is a row chipper. What is the purpose of this row of chippers? The waste chip that comes down the weighing hole is the flushing box. Let's do it automatically. It's gonna go into the box and collect it. In fact, these things are relatively common, more general. We see here. This control system for our press. Independent control system. We have a general control cabinet over here. Put all the moves on the whole. Production line to integrate. It's one integration at a time. One integration at a time. But we are in the process of commissioning the equipment. In the process of replacing abrasive tools. Or during the feeding process. It may require a lot of fine tuning. Let's do it for ease of operation. Every one of us on this device. There is an independent control. And they all have an emergency stop button. You can stop the production line at any time. In addition, this is in the various parts. This remote control we all have. And we don't just use remote controls with good quality. And its performance is also very good. Which means we're in the middle of some work. Probably just a shifter adjusting the production line. That, too, is effortless. Have you noticed? We have a lot of these tubing on this mold. What's it for? Does anyone know? Well, those of you who know mold might know. 
How about this mold? Usually after the mold is installed, use a press plate to press the material. It's fastened with a bolt. In this adjustment process, it's actually more difficult. In here, usually light this up and down tight. This bolt all this stuff. It could be more than half an hour, even longer. We used automatic clamping. After loading the mold, just align the button a little bit. Automatic tightening will do the job. Very easy, fast, and convenient. And when we get here, you can see our servo feeder. Look at this feeder. This roller is made of special steel. Very high hardness. The accuracy is very, very accurate. Especially since we're here, a damped feeder was added. This is definitely all our latest research and development. Latest design. Let's go over here and install it. The last one here must be the feed guide. Leveling after feed guide. After this material is flattened, there is a hydraulic shear. Let's cut fast. You can go through here. You can see that when we get this material out, its flatness is very high. But in the wrong process. The bottle cap has been damaged. So we need to go through the leveling machine. To flatten it out. Our hydraulic phase, it is very convenient and very fast, and the speed is very, very fast. After our materials came in, this is an automatic palletizing. Can see, our palletizer can follow the material. After the material fell, our palletizer is automatic. This is the purpose of this design, is to avoid this material. In the process of blanking, run with yourself. Add this scratch to the surface of this material. What about our common production line? Generally for the material droop, are some mechanical limits used. Just some trip switches. Let the material sag over the travel switch. It's gonna start, stop, or protect. Ours is an infrared scan. Over here. The first one you can see. We have this this guide post. It's very strong. The second is the width of our infrared. It is unusually wide. This is also convenient for us to this red line. If there is a gap in the punching plate, what can it be? Avoid the possibility of error. It is a continuous automatic production line. Chongtuo and Siemens have signed a strategic cooperation agreement. We have a lot of these control systems now. All parts from Siemens are fully used. Take our production line for example. It could come in many different lengths. Different hole positions. Different patterns come out of this. What about these design patterns? If you follow the traditional pattern. We'll do it one by one. Put it into the data. It's easy to have problems. What we have here is a device. Remote input is already possible. Let's say we're in the office. Design out of CAD drawings. I can generate Excel spreadsheet automatically. It can be automatically transmitted to the control cabinet. In between, the possibility of manual input error is eliminated. Anything else? Let's say I have this device in production for a day. 8 hours of work. How many finished products came out? It's how much from which side. How many lengths are out there? I can generate an admin log. I can generate reports a week or a month a year. It's this energy consumption, it's this um yield. Working hours, working hours. Reports can be generated directly to customers. The customer can easily check it on his phone, iPad, or computer. That is to say, we are now able to offer our customers more than just a complete production line. And we can provide customers with a complete set of management tools. How long the device runs. He has a good yield. We can all be counted. In addition, it can be given to customers to achieve remote control remote management. The real Zhongzhou will use the hard power of research and development to jump out of the whirlpool.